shirt. Let's get the book and head out so we're not late for a play date. Okay, just one second. Got it, the Tic Tac Toy All About Me book. Which pages do we need to fill out? All of them. Awesome! Um, why is the Toy School phone ringing on a Saturday? I don't know, should we answer it? I suppose so. Hello? Hello, this is the Toy Master. Oh no! You're going to want to put me on the speakerphone, Addie. This isn't good, Maya. That's better. Since we all had such a wonderful time with my last escape room challenge, I thought we'd play again today. Oh no! I'm locking the doors of Toy School as we speak. It will be up to you two to follow a series of clues that will lead you to an escape button. Press the button and the doors will unlock. Maya, at least we're in this together this time. That's right, we could work together. Not so fast. I want to make this a little more interesting. I have a feeling we're not going to like this. You'll take turns working through the clues. When one of you is working, the other will be sitting in the soundproof Pick Me Pops chamber and wearing earmuffs. I don't like this one bit. When you hear a chime, you'll switch places. The person working on the clues will move to the chamber, and the one sitting in the chamber will then work through my clues. Okay. Anything else we need to know? Yes. I'd suggest you work as quickly as possible. Every minute that passes will mean one toy disappears from your bedroom. Oh no! Maya, you'll play first. Addie, you need to enter the Pig and Pop soundproof chamber immediately. Okay, good luck, Maya. We can do this. Just work as quickly as you can. Okay, Addie. Okay, Toy Master, I'm ready to begin. What's my first clue? Your first clue can be found in your Tic Tac Toy All About Me book. The clock is starting now. Good luck. Okay, clue, clue, look for clue. I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. Wait, wait a minute. Why is this letter S highlighted here? That doesn't seem right. Maybe I should write it down. I wonder if there's any other letters highlighted. <gasps> An E! The E in pet is highlighted. I bet they write that down too. I found one. The L in like. Gotta be more in here. Ooh, an M. Any others? Any others? Oh, there's a little I. I almost missed that one. Better write that one down too. All right, any more? I think that's it. I think they got them all, but what do all these letters mean? I wish Addie was here to help me. I hope Maya's doing okay. I'm sure a couple of this have already passed, which means we probably lost a couple of toys from our rooms. Okay, these letters must spell something, and whatever they spell must be the next clue. Wait a minute, I think they got it. Smile! Wait, but what clue is that? Am I supposed to smell? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing's happening. Oh, emojis! They're smiley faces. And there's one on the whiteboard. I don't see any clue on it. What am I missing? <laughs> the 
That's the chime. You have 10 seconds to switch places. Move quickly. Oh no! Hurry, I only have 10 seconds to switch places. What do I need to know, Maya? I dumped in with some letters on my desk and I think it spelled smile. But I don't know what it means. Okay, thanks. Good luck. Smile, smile, what in the world could that mean? Wait a minute. These letters also spell slime. And I know Miss Lucy keeps a slime refrigerator in the room. Okay, let's see what we have here. Whoa, there's so much slime. Or food. No, it's definitely slime. Or slime that looks like food. Okay, I'm guessing there has to be a clue inside one of these. So I better start opening them. Chocolate mint ice cream slime? I don't see any clues in here. On to the next slime. Marshmallow slime. It feels and smells like marshmallows too. I don't feel any clues in here though. On to the next one. <laughs> spaghetti slime. Nothing in here but spaghetti noodles. Icing slime with sprinkles. Smells delicious. Feels cool, but no clue. Time for the egg slime. Time to crack this egg. There's even a yolk, but no clue again. I'm getting worried that I haven't found anything yet. I wonder if I should be doing something different. Maybe I'll try the hot fudge slime next. This really looks like hot fudge but there's no clue in here either. Let's try lemon lime soda. Wait a minute, this must be a clue. There's fish in it. These are from the Playmobil Aquarium at the activity table. I bet my next clue's over there. Now this is odd. It looks like the aquarium's filled with water beads. I know it wasn't like this yesterday. It's always filled with water. And there's this pitcher of water just sitting here too. I know this wasn't here yesterday either. <gasps> this is a chime! You have 10 seconds to switch places. What do we need to know, Aggie? Something with the Playmobil Aquarium. Try pouring the water into it. Okay, thanks. Okay, wow, what is all this in here? Well, I just said to pour the water in, so I might as well give that a try. Whoa! Wow, you can't even see the water beads anymore. There's fish and seashells. And what's this thing? There's like shapes on here. This is odd. There's a square, a rectangle, a cylinder, a triangle, and a pentagon. This must be some sort of code. I have an idea. Come on, Maya, find that escape button. The time is ticking. Okay, square starts with the letter S. Rectangle starts with R. Cylinder starts with a C. Triangle starts with a T. And pentagon starts with a P. So that spells circuit, put nothing. Well, that didn't work. <gasps> Maybe I need to find shapes and cuts. I know there's magnet tiles somewhere. I think they're back here. Triangles and squares in here, but not clues that I can see. Where else do we have shapes in our classroom? Oh, the poster over there. Hmm. <laughs> I don't see anything that could be a clue. Maybe on the back. <gasps> Bingo! It looks like I have a T to decode my message. Okay, a square is a T. A rectangle stands for an R. 
A cylinder is A. A triangle is an S and a pentagon is an H. Trash! It's time to switch again. You have 10 seconds to switch places. It's time to switch, Daddy. Great, where did you leave off? I decoded something that said trash, so I checked the trash cans. Okay, thanks. It looks like a bunch of papers were shredded. And I'm guessing I'm gonna have to put it back together to get the next clue. Oh wow, it looks like there's something on both sides actually. One side has pictures and the other side has like words. Maybe some sort of message. I think it would be easier to put a picture together first though. Okay, Miss Lucy's desk is a perfect place for a puzzle. Definitely looks like some cutie cards. Maybe that one. Kent cutie cards. Done! Cutie cards, Shopkins. Okay, I really need to see the message on the back, but how do I do that? Wait a minute, this is a glass tabletop. The number of cutie cards in the classroom is the number you must dial on the phone for your next clue. Okay, key cards. They're over on Stella's desk. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's easy. Five cutie cards. Nothing's happening. I must have the wrong number. Okay, Maya can figure this one out for sure. You have 10 seconds to switch places. Okay, Maya, you have to count how many cutie cars are in the classroom, then dial that number on the phone. Okay, sounds easy enough. I already tried five and that wasn't it. Okay, thanks. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Addie said five wasn't the answer, which must mean that there's more cutie cars in the room somewhere. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. There's more of them there. Two new color changes, 13, 14. I wanna open these soon. Maybe that's the answer. No matter how far you travel or hike, you'll never find two flakes of this alike. Huh, what kind of a clue is that? I'm gonna need to hear that one again. No matter how far you travel or hike, You'll never find two flakes of this alike. Okay, I could do this. Flakes seem to be important, but what does that mean though? I'm getting so sick of sitting in here. I really hope we switch places soon. Or better yet, I really hope she finds that escape button. Snow maybe? Yeah, I think that works. Miss Lucy told us that no two snowflakes are alike. But if snow is the answer, what does that mean? We don't have snow in Toy School. I got it, we don't have real snow in Toy School, but we love to make pretend snowballs with floof. The next clue has to be in floof bin. I found the button, I found it. and a toy store owner. You're right, we got some serious connections and I bet we're gonna be all right. 